Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about specialty LEDs again and I'm going to give you an example of several different LEDs I have and then we're going to make a track bumper with an LED in it, a specialized LED and I'll show you how to make that and how I use them. Okay, let's get started. This is a little test demonstration of a bunch of different LEDs and what their functions are. By the way, none of these LEDs have any external circuitry. These are just the way they come out of the package. So there's no other components that make them blink or flash. Okay, the first one is a blinking LED uh, that is used or it came with my uh, antenna tower kit. This next one is a standard uh, red LED, but it's a clear, clear lens, and it's pretty bright. Next one is a more narrow beam LED, and it's a lot dimmer. All of these LEDs I'm running at uh, 12 volts, and I'm running them through a 680 ohm resistor, so they're all the same um, in terms of uh, voltage. The next one is a what they call a golden white one. It's kind of a warm white LED and it doesn't look that way until you look at the cool white one which is right here. And that throws a lot of light. That's an ultra bright LED. The next one is a kind of a strange one. It's a red and green flashing. And what I noticed is uh, that if you reduce the voltage a little bit and it still flashes about the same, maybe a little bit slower. Uh, I do not know if they make... This is a red and green one. I think they make a red and blue one as well. This is what's called an ultra bright white LED. It's got a yellow case around it and it doesn't look that bright to me. This next one is a panel LED, which I've used in my control panel. If you've seen that video. Next one is a green LED. I don't know if you can see that. That's a green case. Next one is a yellow LED, and this one's pretty dim. Again, it's run 12 volts. The next several LEDs are multicolor ones. This one is a bar LED. It's a square. Um, it's got a green output and a red output in the same package. This next one is a tricolor LED and there's blue, uh, red, and green. And the green and blue are pretty vivid. This last one uh, that I have I'm not going to show uh, lit up but it's a uh, laser diode, laser LED and it's a bright, uh, bright red uh, LED laser le laser diode and it uh, runs on about three volts and it's uh, quite intense. I got those on Amazon and at the time they were on sale I don't, I don't know if they still are or not there was ten of them for three dollars and fifty cents so I, I bought them for uh, experimental purposes. Okay now let's go over and take a look at another type of LED it's called a breathing or breathable LED and I'll show you what that is. Okay if you can see this uh LED at the top of my antenna tower. You can see how it's fading in and out. That's a breathing um, LED. It, this one happens to be red, but they come in other colors. And they also have LEDs that actually uh, change color gradually, like this, from uh, one color to another. Okay, let's talk about modifying a track bumper to use some LEDs. This track bumper is a uh, Kato, and it had a little black flag or marker in the top there where the whole is now. I pulled it out and I re-drilled the hole to fit a bicolor LED in it. It looks like this. And in the back I just epoxied it in there. You can see the wires coming out. There's three wires uh, right here coming out at the bottom. And um, I've, I've used these, I use these a lot on the layout. And what I do is I hook them up to a switch and I um, have them red when the track is, is dead or it's not uh, activated. 
So if I'm going to park a loco there or something and I don't want it to draw power or make noise um, while it's parked on a siding or in a yard, I have the light become red. And then when it's green, I know that particular track is active. Now there's another side, another type of uh, bumpers, which are these. These are straight track with a bumper. It's called bumper C2. And let me take those out and I can show you a little bit better what they look like. So they look like this. You can see the side. And I use these also. Um, the difference is that um, in manufacturing or making these, I drill a little hole in the center here of the track, uh, a smaller LED, and I stick it there and I can see it uh, uh, quite visibly uh, that way too. So I have both kinds of uh, tracks. Now, the LED I showed you before that has three colors, uh, red, green, and blue, I was thinking of put that, putting that on my programming track where red is is uh, dead or open circuit, uh, green is uh, part of the actual uh, main layout, wired to the main layout, and blue would be when it when the track is hooked up to a um, programming track output. So here you can see where I have the yards and siding switches which activate the yards or the sidings. And over here is the second type of uh, a second time of bumper I showed you where they're where they're red. And by turning um, the switches, this particular yard is number one. You can see they turn green. And that means it's activated. So this is the first type of bumper I displayed uh, or showed you. And right now they're red, so they're deactivated. And this is my yard. In this case, um, I just have one lighted bumper uh, because I thought, uh, you know, with so many tracks it would be very distracting. So I just have one lighted bumper there. 